They evaluated them in baseline conditions. These llamas had a normal electroencephalogram, like we all do, in beta, in a state of, of, of this, of wakefulness, in, in delta, when they were in, in REM sleep, and so on and so on. And then they made them enter deep meditation. And when they entered deep meditation, they reached situations of unfolding, as it is called. That is to say, they leave the body which is very well expressed in near-death experiences. They enter into the energy of the superconsciousness, which is highly subtle, and this allows them to detach from the body. Then they detach from the body and can make astral journeys. Well, when they did this, they changed, moved to Alpha, to, uh, to Theta, and when they detached, they reached these situations, there was gamma activity of very high activity, which is much more difficult for a normal being to achieve in normal situations. That is to say, there are very important changes, and later it has been seen that there are even morphological changes. By performing functional magnetic resonances on patients who practice uh, deep meditation and connect with their superconsciousness, it has been observed that over time, there are morphological changes that mainly affect the gray matter, especially in the frontal lobe, which increases in size. There are changes in the hypothalamus, changes in the midbrain, in the hippocampus, the memory area of the limbic system, the midbrain. That is to say there are morphological changes due to meditation when contacting our superconsciousness. But how much should we meditate to start noticing benefits? How long is it? No, normally per day it is, uh, I meditate. One meditates for 22 minutes. Oh, how precise, right? 22, yes, yes, 22 minutes. And it's even done with a very interesting program that's in a, a it's an app that signals you with a sound, with a little bell when it starts. You do it, you forget, you lose your sense of time and space when you're in the situation. And then when it reaches 21, 22 minutes, the bell rings and you then little by little enter the beta state again. This is what needs to be done. 22 minutes every day. You can do it as you gain experience. You can push it to Boza. You can do it sitting on the bus, no? Wow. At the beginning, you have to do it in a place eliminating all stimuli that do not distract you, in a quiet place with low light with your eyes closed. But when you have experience, you can do it while traveling by plane, or you can do it on the bus calmly.